My name is Renee Prado. I'm from Semerton, Arizona, and I'm a senior here at the West Campus. My major is Interdisciplinary Arts and Performance, and this is my story. How did you start your career, or how we could we could get involved? Like, I began my career in the newspaper business back in New York, and uh, I was writing for Newsday for a long, long time. And then I moved out here and I got into radio. And for the last 18 years, I've hosted the main sports radio show here in Phoenix on Arizona Sports 98.7. It's a very tough business to break into, but you got to be very versatile. You got to be able to write blogs. You got to be able to uh, go on air, off air. It all depends on what you want to do. I'm an interested in arts and performance major and I'm learning how to put sound on movies, radio. I also like to do sports commentating, like the Mexican Soccer League. A lot of friends tell me, you know what, you should be a really good sports soccer announcer. The best advice that I could give you is to get an internship at a radio station and knock down a bunch of doors. Make people recognize who you are. Work extremely hard. When you do an internship, it's not about credit for school. It's about making contacts. Make as many contacts as you can because the contacts are going to be what helps you get a job in radio. So you're going to be going for jobs that hundreds of people are going to be going for. What can separate you is the internships. Get internships at radio stations, TV stations, newspapers, and use those internships towards your advantage. You want to meet as many people as you can. You want to get those people to help you because when you're going for a job, it's a lot easier to have somebody like me calling for you and putting in a good recommendation. Is there like um, students who could do like a job shadowing when they're broadcasting? Is there students who come who could come in and observe? You can shadow somebody for a day. So you could shadow uh, somebody on the field that's a reporter, and you mm -hmm. can shadow them for the day. You could shadow somebody up in the booth. You could shadow somebody in the press box and you see how they work and how they do it, how they prepare, uh, how they complete their tasks. But it's a good idea to, to shadow someone. Well, thanks. Thanks for your interview, and it was a pleasure to meet interview. So you have a good day today, and All thank right. you. And best of luck in your career. Thank you.